measure of how well recovered you are. For example, touching your toes. Um, some days you'll you'll do that easily with no pain, no discomfort, no stretch to the hammies and feels good. And other days, potentially after a game, and it's the hardest thing you've ever tried to do. So uh, it can change for a footballer um, throughout a week, particularly in a game week. Um, but there's also some good performance measures that you can practice and, and um, take away from today's presentation to increase your mobility. Um, and an athlete that has better mobility is more able to get to a um, ground ball or um, overhead mark uh, and get into awkward little positions and create more patterns on the field more quickly, as well as freely and easily. So less risk for causing harm on your body and injuries and so forth. So it's very, very important. Um, and my favorite quote um, is from Bruce Lee, where he was famous for, for um, saying, be water, my friend. Uh, and the quote that I picked out from him was, don't get set into one form. Adapt it and build your own. Let it grow. Be like water. Empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water in a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water in a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes a teapot. So, um, yeah, I think it's a pretty um, profound quote to sort of talk about, not just in terms of mobility, but also. Um, mental mobility as well to be fluid and adaptable um, in challenging situations whether it be on the football field or in life in general so this is a good a good go-to for me uh, and he was yeah incredible with how, what he could do with his body if you haven't heard of Bruce Lee or seen his stuff uh, and you've got half an hour to spend on some YouTube clips definitely worth your while um, so some lifestyle things that if you're not doing well, will reduce your mobility. Um, so if you're in pain, so an injury, um, I'm sure you guys have experienced this when you've maybe sprained an ankle, your mobility of course is gonna be affected. Uh, but also what happens when you have an injury is that you compensate um, and your body's incredibly intelligent and will adapt its movement um, to be able to function throughout the day. So um, not only will your ankle be less mobile that's injured, but potentially other areas in your body part, in your in, throughout your body might reduce their mobility because now they're overloading, they're compensating for that injury. So just being aware of um, the effect an injury can have on your function um, and what, how that's affecting the rest of the body, uh, particularly if it is a lower limb injury, um, us being on our feet all day and moving around, um, we can uh, potentially affect the rest of our body. So. Um, you may want to spend more time doing some, especially if, you, if you're in the phase of letting that uh, injury settle down and, and let the swelling and um, blood come out of the injury. 